So, Uncle Ray, eh? Yeah. Let's do a toast to Uncle Ray. Cheers, Uncle Ray. Uncle Ray, Uncle Ray, Mr. Mears. Thank you for me, uh, making that old guy in Australia there was eat a the chocolate grub. banana. Thank you for that. <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> oh, what should he grab, Gordon? Yeah. Thank I'm you, Ray. Bananas the with rum, Ray. Like the rum bananas with rum. Is it for you, Ray? For telling us dumb Americans what bushcraft is. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was. A, I just watched that. Jesus, episode yeah, like two weeks ago. Yeah, right. Was he the oh. original bushcrafter? I think he. Beautiful. I think he made it modern. And good I think whiskey. that's a term used by a lot of European people and a lot of Australian people. But I, he definitely, he certainly. But I think it brought is it to the masses in the UK. Brought it to the masses in, the in, the in a modern way. So in the UK, oh, you. But you're missing hunt. a piece. A lot of people bring bushcraft to the masses yeah. in a modern way, but he brings it in such an authentic, highly skilled, sophisticated he's way right. that he's links legit. back he's with legit. the native First Nations good. using their good. skills at so the same good. time. So good. Other people sure. just don't do so that, good. man. Yeah. So good. Yeah, he's a, he's a like man. making canoes up in Canada. Unbelievable. Making snowshoes. That whole northern front, what's it called? Northern something, that four part series? Northern Bushcraft. My favorite yeah, was amazing. when he went to Australia for the you wild food. You want those DVDs, Mitch? I have the, I have the, all the whole series. I like uh, his I love McGregor the one too. I have one DVD. I'm not going to give you all of them. I have the I have one. No, just give me copies. I don't want the real ones. No, I have copies. They're all copies. Let's just sit in my shelf. I do have one real one that I was giving for Christmas many years ago. Bushcraft, right? Change out into your wet clothes. Honestly, I only need one or two to watch them. I'm not going to watch them. The videos that are on his YouTube channel are all the special features one. on that. They're like it's the really extra cool. stuff he filmed from himself. It's kind of what BBC. Bear Girls Running Wild. It's all, you know, how to make the match really? and all yeah, that totally. stuff. It's all on those DVDs. It's like, it was just him and Ewan McGregor. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably keep the like, Oh shit, I did see that. Like, yeah. 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 That's, that's a good original one. works. I love them the best. Walkabouts. Yeah. The track, the track, oh shit, you know what I meant to tell you, Mitch? That's really good. That's my favorite one. I think I'll keep that one. What's that, man? You know what I got? I ordered today off eBay. I immediately thought of you. 1954 and the 1955 entire full year magazine release of Boys Life. The, yes. The Boy Scout magazine. I used to have a subscription to Boys Life I Googled, back in the 90s. I Googled Nying Fire, right? Because I was looking for some books on it. And yeah. I found an article in a Boys Life magazine. And I'm like, Boys Life, that's so sick. Like, I flipped through the magazine. It was like how to make like birch bark candles. And, like, that was awesome our, our Boy Scout legit, magazine like, back in the day, man. Had to, like really insane like woodcraft yeah, stuff. But it was from the 50s? I didn't 54 know. 54 and 55. I didn't know there were was printed year. so far so, back. Dude, wait until oh, yeah. I show you these things, man. They're so I would love to hang out and check those out. So they're they're all original. Awesome. They're like all still in the packaging. But oh my you can go God. on Google and flip through the magazine itself. So yeah. that's how I found the publication right. for it. But I'm like, oh, I'm going to try to actually find that. I want the magazine. I want the original. And I found on eBay. Dude, two you got to come years. hang out some night. Like, instead of going to free play or whatever, we'll just come out to my apartment. We'll hang out in the game room and just geek out on Boy Scout crap. Because I got like a 1950 first edition, the, the field manual that Moise Kiansky said is, is one of his top 10 books of all time. Time. And he said he held it up and he said, What was the first book on bushcraft that changed the world? It was this one right here. And I'm like, I have that book. I can't believe this. You know what I mean? That book is off the off the charts, dude. Everything from canoe paddle, like how to paddle canoe, like canoe strokes, all the way to winter fires, like everything. Dude, the racket grills. It's just, it's, it's like 400 pages of bushcraft from 1950. And it's just like, oh. why did they do it? Yep. To like yep. try yep. to get kids involved <laughs> in the outside. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You couldn't get a kid involved you know, today, you know, you know no. if you dragged them with a chain. Yeah. yeah, and they did it to create a stronger... Um, stronger from, youth though, you know? so they could become like better politicians, better generals, just run militaries, so they could run governments. Like like they wanted the youth to turn into strong, able-bodied men so they could just like help run the country better. And they literally used the Boy Scouts as like pre-military training. I did that. Yeah, dude. 
Yeah. Crazy though. Like it's so. the book. The magazine is awesome. Yeah, it's I like, still got a couple. Uh, there, there's magazines. like a three-page article in the same winter edition that has the nine fire. The nine fire is sick, by the way. Yeah. The the, the article they wrote for that is amazing. That's in Ray's new book, but it's the first time I ever saw it. It's bottom split, half split. Bottom like, split, be done with top this, full I mean, round, oh and God. just two logs. So bottom lo two bottom well, small logs lateral, thing, but, but it's flat so it doesn't roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Top, flat, logs on top of that. Bottom of the next one, so flat, logs on top of oh that. My goodness. And the I'll logs in the front dunk. are long enough and kind of angled so you can like put a pan or something on there. There's just like a guy and like his kid sitting in front of this fire. Amazing. With like a flannel and like the, you know, the Elmer Fudd hat. Yeah. Crazy, well, dude. Totally. So, but the what article before that, that was about yeah, I mean, quilting, and it's like a three-page article, like but it literally got me interested in quilting. I'm like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you can make rabbit blankets if you have enough hides. No I have a book that uh, Paul Campbell wrote. It. He passed away now, just like two years ago, I think, or one year ago. Um, very, very special guy in California. Um, used to used to hang out with, with the dirt time guys, and. Um, I found his book online years and years and years ago, and it's called um, like Native uh, Skills of Native California or something like that. Survival Skills of Native California, and it's all like black and white pictures of legit like First Nations people making like boats out of um, cattails, um, and then like dude making um, rabbit blankets and. Like all that stuff that like nobody talks about. Facebook's good for like that. Like that book, it, it's like a, it's, the, the it's like a book for a university. Yeah. It's, uh, it's yeah. not, it's not like a bushcraft book to buy. It's Facebook legit, dude. Just, and um, it's too. like, I, use it I, I, I got a deal on it. It was like, like almost a hundred like, bucks. Hey, yeah, shit. Was, yeah, I was so stoked it's to go across crazy, these magazines, dude. man. I'm, yeah. So I like so excited. We're totally into like this, that, that like finding that old knowledge stuff. It just has got so much content that I would use. That I mean, I'm not like, I'm like, I don't try to like geek out on what it is or where it comes from. It's like I look at it. I'm like, I would use every single page of this magazine to learn something. Well, that's the best part because then have fun in the woods. I I take notes on these things and I'm like, I'll I'll make like a list of things that that like I'm gonna do. I'll go through these old books and I'll just go like page by page yeah. and just like let you borrow them, write a little tick of what I wanna do. And sometimes uh, like one book will give me like 50 ideas of things I wanna work on, you know? What? <coughs> Heated by a fire. When you prep it, fire would hit you four times. Four times, huh? Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at it, it looks like oh, a wait. canoe. That's gonna be terrible, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Get on the boat. Barry, Barry always says that. <laughs> well, you think about it. Oh, dude, this you is gonna be awful. Tree. <laughs> yep. One, one. Look at this. Oh my. Oh, liquid Not happy. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can. Can you smell it? Can you taste it? Can smell you? Oh it. man. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> mm, oh my. I'm sure I'm so overexposed, but it is what it is. Oh boy. Nom 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 yeah. nom. Ray, Ray would be proud. Like, Just a whole crew uh, of people on living on bananas and chocolate <laughs> from. <laughs> yeah, I watched the Australian <laughs> wild food um, episode yesterday, last yeah. night. When that was, I was the first, like, my the gear first episode of the wild food series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was. Mm -hmm. We're going to the bush tacos. Mm hmm. You got that maple handle cranking on that camera or what? Yeah, I got a maple handle. I was stoked hand to see that. That really was like the most Mitch Mitchell post I've ever seen. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, yeah. I'd go for a walk looking for your handle when I knew you were making one on me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too bad you didn't find it, but I did make a replacement. I had a nice walk. It was fun. Cool. That's a bummer, dude. Yeah, that's what. That's how that happened. Yeah. Hiking out. Hiking out yeah. from that dude, place. Yep. Somewhere, but it was still in your picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that last picture of us walking out was still yeah. there. So you I know roughly it. where it is. Kind of. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's on. I don't think it's on the trail, man. Cause like after like that picture, we took halfway up the little road there. Yeah. And like, there's nothing to get hung up on after that. It must have been in I somewhere know. with a car transfer. I transfer, know. Transfer, I know. That's what I thought. Between the cars somewhere. It wasn't at the. Po it wasn't at yeah. the store. It's it not in my car. Not in Malcolm's. Not in your car. Not at the store. It's not in front of my sister's house when I changed cars. It disappeared into the void. Not in front of yeah. my house. Not in my house. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, from the void now. Just around. Yeah. Here go those pine shoulders. Look at that. Yeah. They're the best at night. Just bright and hot. Yeah. Love them. Yep. There's a few good down pines. 
back on the just the right side of the trail as you come in a couple yeah. big ones yeah. they're not like i'm so so this place it's the looks best so to get different these things when the, when the pines it are like rotten. doesn't look like the same yeah. camp and you can I bang out the whole all shoulder the down trees mm. but like i like lost pines, my camp i was like all right i know i set up like get, <laughs> my shelter <laughs> like near where where whole, behind like, the old camp used to be but it doesn't even look the same no especially where whoever that is over there cut down all those trees oh my god no gary was like gary was like well you know there's a lean to over here you could set up and i was like i won't just out of spite but thank not. you. I was like angry oh my at it. God, you <laughs> like, that? I was Are you like, dude, me? but it's birch. Did you look at the wood? Like, did you realize that it's rotted? Probably. Like, some of it's rotted and it's like not some even comfortable not. and it's not even the right size and the angle's not right. No, I got I, I got salty about that, <laughs> which is not something I generally do. But that that kind of pissed me off. Yeah. And I get it, dude. Look, if somebody's new, I'm just glad they're trying it out. And we've all made mistakes starting totally. off and all that. Yeah, I get no, it, the nitpicking not... came from a standpoint yeah, of like going through your shit and like leaving trash in your wiki. That that's where it started. Yeah, I'm like, dude, you stole my tripod, dude. No, no. They were like, this thing looks cool. I'm gonna take this and bring it over to my kid. Yeah, no, we're no. right. racking it. All right, I'd be hanging out. Can you move that for my coffee, please? Oh, thank you. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, oh I just oh, thought I'd add you oh. some fucking. I thought I'd add you Burn some. Burning uh, my boots. I thought I'd fucking put down a hole in your boot. Lit. That's and okay. Some charcoal for your. Yeah, uh, you tried it a little coffee. bit, but it's okay. Okay. That's some good bridal bridal leather, guy. That 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 that's bomb proof leather. No, it really isn't. But yeah, they just slashed mm -hmm. it all the time. Those are a pair of keens. That makes sense. <laughs> they slashed all the time. Hundred dollar keens. Yeah, yeah I got a pair of keens too. They're okay. I, I still wear them once in a while. I have Solomon for like, like legit hiking boots, but yeah. if I'm being real, dude, if I'm wearing boots, it's, it's because I don't want my feet like, to get wet. I don't know, my ear, I've spent 60 or, bucks on tarps at the hardware store. Yeah. Like, uh, actually, uh, I wanted mucks. the thing to stay yeah, beyond out there. Well, you would think, you know, kids would love it. Not anymore. Sneakers. Nice. Yep. Yeah, my buddy Kevin uh, decided to um, try to have the lightest feet possible. He was doing a 100-mile hike um, it was in Maine. It was like, you know, Katahdin and all that stuff. And uh, he ran out of food, and he started fishing for food. And people were like, dude, you're the coolest person in the world. He was telling me he's funny. <laughs> and um, whatever. And uh, he was wearing, like, moccasins and stuff, like climbing, um, climbing mountains and stuff. And just using, like... Feather light moccasins. People have these like crazy massive boots to go on up in there looking at him like he's they're, like bugging out over his his little flimsy thin leather Did you moccasins. Read, uh... Yeah, I like Cody. I think he's a, a very sharp dude. I like yeah. that four sided like pyramid shelter that he um, taught in Canada on that show about being like lost, like lost and found or whatever. He did this where he like taught a group how to live like a community <laughs> and um the shelter was just bomb, dude. Oh my god, was it good. He's, he's a cool dude. <laughs> Going back to Morris, um, I found a video online of him from like way back. And, uh, dude, he built, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. He built, um, using no tools, just like knocking, like pushing trees over and then breaking them in crooks and stuff. Like big trees. He built like a raised bed. It had like a posture sprung mattress. Like a lean to, <laughs> fully thatched. He hadn't even used a tool yet. Like, dude, like multiple full on raised bed, like a foot high. And then, and then he built a, 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 a reflecting wall for his fire, built a fire, got that done. Like, the, the, and the video has no cuts. And it's like a 17 minute video or something. And within 17 minutes, the dude, the dude has a full on, like, primitive lean to, northern lean to shelter, fire blazing away with a reflector. He hasn't even, like, pulled an axe out, no knife. I'm like, dude, this guy is such a that's, boss. That's um, the thing about him. He, like, doesn't, he doesn't go in the woods to listen to himself talk, dude. He, like, right. does shit. Un yeah. like, <laughs> he does things with a purpose and with intent. With a purpose. Those, those and he does it the most efficient are, way, why, too. To the point where he's like, well, it's cold weather. I'm going to show you how to make a fire with a feather stick. And he turns around around grabs a branch bangs a feather stick out and he's like and he's talking this is what it is. And, and so and so what you want to do is and then you do that and it's and so now it's lit yeah, and then you just it's like three dude, seconds I, later yeah, I honestly would so kill fast. for like just one of his mora ones one of his you ever seen the nicest he no, makes no, out of like the saw blade the saw blades no. he cuts out like with tin yeah. snips i think no. it is he's at his house and he's like forging like a blade he put makes a handle and <laughs> dude there's a video on his channel where he makes a knife from like 
an old rusty saw blade. Yeah, he's Polish. And, 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 like, and then he makes like you know, feather sticks with it when he's done. He's he American. sharpens it up. It's like legit bushcraft knife. He's like, yeah, oh, I, I give these away sometimes at classes yeah, for gifts and stuff. Vermont, I, I've made so many of them over the years. I'm like, dude, I just watched you yes, make a sir. knife in like half an hour. Like, it's done. Spot, it seems it's like feather sticking right now. Yeah, <laughs> More is just a man, dude. He really is. He really is. Yeah. And it's just, again, it's like he doesn't ever make a video. Like, yeah, a the, the videos that he makes oh, yeah, when sitting talking to the it's camera are the most, like, like, the most well thought out and well used really time of speech that, that like, I've ever heard. You <laughs> know what I mean? Well used like, time like, of speech. Dude, I like take notes and the guy's just rapping off improv. Dude, it's so like, good. It's like you're taking a, a, like a word university you, class. Like, every word that he uses like is something that you yeah, yeah. would listen to. It's right, not I'm just like not filler words. Like, he literally is just doing exactly concentrated information of the outdoors. It's so potent. Seriously. He really is. It's like going to college listening to that guy. Oh, you can do that. Right, oh, cool. I love it, man. Yeah. Dude, I'll never forget when, when, when he fronted me on Facebook. I'm like, dude, what is fronted me on Facebook? I talked to Kelly on Can't through YouTube. It. I comment on the Caramat Wilderness Ways page on YouTube a lot. Oh, dude, wash your socks. Yeah. I care, I comment on the Caramat Wilderness Ways a lot, and Kelly... I, it's Caramat that responds, but I know it's Kelly that responds. His, his um, protege. Yeah, yeah. He's a nice dude, too, but, man, Moores just has the brain. And the thing that I like about the relationship between <laughs> Kelly and Moores is that Kelly, like, truly understands the capacity of Moores. Like, he talks to him like he is straight up his Yoda. And, and I think a lot of people look at that, and they're like, wow, you have this kind of fanatical relationship with your mentor. But, really, he just sees the capacity that he has. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Kelly sees the capacity Morris has. He sees his humbleness and he sees his intelligence. And I think he, he wants people to see that, too. It's like, he taught some, like, BS, like, fire safety crew, like, outdoor survival training. And they were all kind of, like, half checked out. And he was like, you know, you're going to want to write this down. And they all had, like, blank pages, you know. And, like, it drew it drove me crazy because it was, like, the first class that Kelly kind of got involved with, too. Yep. Um but no one wrote anything down, you know what I mean? Is like, I feel like he's just so, That's and he doesn't lost. care, dude. He doesn't care, Morris doesn't care. He's like, I have all this information, I'm giving it to you. If you don't want it, fine, you know? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's something else, man. God bless you, Morris. You'll, I'm sure you'll never watch this, but. Right. The Northeast is a hotbed of uh, bushcraft, I guess, huh? God bless you. Morris is Canadian. Yeah, he's uh, in Canada. Western, Western Canada. Oh, uh, I don't think he's I in Western Canada Vermont at all. Really? Though? No, he's not in Western Canada. I'm pretty sure he's like, like Southern Canada, almost directly in the center. I think. Interesting. I thought he was more west. Yeah, like like near Michigan or something. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I could be wrong. I've never been to his house or anything. I never that, hung out with him. Like but. when I first started looking up before any of this, like when I first started really getting into like bushcraft outdoors. And I wanted bushcraft. to take a class with him, so I yes, started dude. finding out where. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just gonna say. Is like, dude, legit. we should do that. I that would. He only has two classes a year: one I in the know, summer, and one in the winter. And it's probably like local people, like you know what I mean? Like no, dude, people travel from around the world to hang out with him and learn. I think it's all that though. I don't think. I, I don't know. Yeah. It would be for me. <laughs> I feel like for him, it like it, it wouldn't like. I don't, I don't Did everyone just go to bed? What just happened? No, I think they went to grab some wood or go uh, to the camp or okay. something. Yeah, there's a bunch of wood over there. I think that's Yeah, there's a did. ton everywhere. Okay, hopefully here. they didn't just go to bed. There's a ton of wood everywhere. Yeah, there is. I think maybe Kevin might have went to... Uh, did he? Yeah, Kevin. I he think Kevin oh, I, 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 I didn't even, even um, hear.